Mr. President-elect, Madam Vice President-elect, I'm deeply humbled by the trust and confidence you have placed in me and, if confirmed by the Senate, will be honored to serve as the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Mr. President-elect, you have pledged to restore the soul of our nation and to unite us as Americans. In this work, there is a mission that can bring every American together, caring for our nation's veterans and their families. As you have said, this is a sacred obligation, and I know it's a, that for you and Dr. Biden, it's also very deeply personal. I've been inspired by vet veterans in my life as well. Today, I'm thinking of my grandpa McDonough, a Marine, all the troops I met on my visits to Afghanistan and Iraq, and the wounded warriors I spent time with at Walter Reed or showing around the White House. I'm thinking of the many vets I've had the pleasure to serve with in and out of government who have put the character and training that they developed in uniform to work to continue serving our country as civilians. I'm also thinking of one of my high school football coaches back in Stillwater, Minnesota, an Iowan, Joe Sam Samuelson. He stormed the beaches of Normandy. And in home hospice at the end of his life, he and his family were grateful for the compassion of the VA. When he passed, his wife gave me his coaching jacket, one of my most, most prized possessions. Coach Sam's jacket reminds me why we're here. Our men and women in uniform have had our country's back, and when they come home, we need to have their back. As the president-elect has said, his marching, marching order to me is very clear. Fight like hell for our veterans. We're going to fight like hell to give our veterans and their families the health care, respect, and dignity they deserve. That means helping our veterans build civilian lives of meaning and opportunity, making our VA even more welcoming to all veterans, including our women veterans, veterans of color, and LGBTQ veterans, and keeping faith with our incredible military families and caregivers, because we need to have their backs too. To the men and women of the VA, many of you veterans yourselves, you work tirelessly to take care of our veterans, and your demanding jobs have been made even more difficult by the pandemic. To you and to the many dedicated vets service organizations who include vets, survivors, and their families, I look forward to being your partner, one united team, and delivering care and support that's second to none. Finally, taking care of our veterans is not a job for the VA alone. Every federal department and agency has a role to play and I will fight like hell to make that happen. And even though only 1% of Americans wear the uniform, under President Biden, every American will be call called upon to embrace our responsibility to support our veterans and our military families. Mr. President-elect, Madam Vice President-elect, on behalf of my wife, Kari, and our family, thank you for this opportunity to serve. May God bless our troops, our veterans and their families, and as a nation, may we always give them our very best, just as they have done for us. Thanks very much. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.